Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have the Boker Quaken Air Mini and the full-size one, both in fat carbon fiber, purple rain fat carbon fiber. Now, there is a discount on these right now for $10 off either one. They're priced a little bit differently. The Mini's a little bit more affordable. I have an affiliate link for Caviso down in the description. If you do want to check one of these out, you can go check out my link. Now, let's take a close look at these. This is gorgeous. The purple fat carbon fiber and all blacked out blade and liners and clip and hardware just looks so good together. It really pops. And the Mini is a lot smaller than the full size one in every dimension. It's sl slimmer, sleeker, the clip's smaller. The only thing that's the same, I think, is the hardware, like in size-wise. Both of them are riding on ceramic caged bearings in the pivot with a ceramic detent ball. And then they both have detent ramps. The action is very snappy. We have really good grippy jimping on the flipper tab. We'll pull this one back here in a second. Lots of grip on the flipper tab. You can slide your finger straight down or you can just grip your finger right on the flipper tab and flip it. It does have a really solid detent that snaps it out there with authority. Very easy to use. I'm not usually a huge fan of mini flipper tabs, but when it's done right, it works. And this works really nice. Very, very snappy. Um, the access to the lock bar is good it has a little bit of grippiness to it a little bit of jimping on there so you can easily disengage it and the detent when you do unlock it it's right there but it's pretty easy to get past and if you do hit it like i said there's a ramp so you can easily push past it the larger one from the ones i have is very drop shutty very very smooth the small one not as drop shutty, but it's also got a lighter blade. Still very, very snappy. But not as false shutty, though. But you can expect that with the lighter blade. Super snappy detent still, though. And easy to disengage. The blade sits fully seated into the handle which is really nice, super slim, super sleek. These aren't your work knife type of knife. This is more of an office carry, something that you know you carry next to your pen or you just carry period, but it's for you know opening things up and things like that. Not necessarily for the job site or breaking down cardboard all day. Not that you couldn't do it or not that you couldn't cut a strap or something like that, but it's more for opening things up the clip deep carry set inside the scales it's not reversible but it is set inside the scales with flat screws the clip does work really nicely and it sits nice and deep in the pocket but still easy to retrieve has a hidden lanyard post in the uh, backspacer that is g10 I do wish that this was fat carbon fiber, but it's not. It is G10. Um, but yeah, the, the fat carbon fiber really pops. The purple's nice and bright. Beautiful cuts of it. The steel is VG10, and it's a coated VG10. So VG10... I think is very appropriate for this because like I said, this isn't a work knife. This isn't a hard use knife. This isn't a hard use cutter. You know, this is a light duty EDC and VG10 is a Japanese steel that is very appropriate for it. It holds a good edge. It's easy to sharpen. It straps back very easily. It is nice and stainless. So it's something that should hold an edge pretty good as long as you're not doing, you know, too crazy of stuff, and you should be able to strap it back really nicely as well. The straight back blade is very sleek. Um, not the thinnest geometry, but for what it's for, you know, I, I don't think it matters. Because like I said, it's not for breaking down cardboard or anything like that. Not that you couldn't do it, but it's just not really for that. So the geometry is going to be mostly using this tip 
for opening things up. And if you did need to cut your cardboard up really quick to throw it in the recycling bin, you, you easily could. It is a flat ground blade. And um, I forgot to mention it is a Burnley design. But yeah, it's such a slim, sleek knife that in the pocket, you're just going to forget about it. You're not even, it's going to be like kind of like carrying a pen, something that you don't even uh, realize you have until you need it. Since the blade seats really deep into the handle, completely into the handle, um, I can technically touch that blade if I really, really try, but I've slid my fingers back and forth and I have not you know, gotten cut. So it's, I don't think it's anything you're going to have to worry about, but if you really tried to, you could touch the edge with your nail, but not your skin. So nothing you're going to have to worry about. Super snappy detent. Now, a couple things I'm not a big fan of. The, the choil and plunge grind, you know, I wish it was a little bit better. Not that big of a deal, but it could be, you know, the plunge grind could be separated from the edge. Um, next thing is the lanyard post back here. It, you, you're probably going to want to drip a little oil in there, but that's that can be fixed very easily. You can drip a little oil in there, put a little grease in there, or even just a little bit of Loctite, and it'll go away. But at the backspacer, you can hear it moving in the back. Um, they do have weight relieving on the inside to bring down the weight. It's already such a super lightweight knife already. Uh, but with the uh, weight relieving on the steel liners, it makes it even lighter. Not sure which one I like better out of the two. I will say this one, you know, because it's drop shutty, it is a bit smoother. But that's because the blade is heavier. But I kind of like the tiny one. Um... You know, it's it fits the bill even more, I think, for what the knife is for and what it's going to be used for. Super lightweight, super small. Not super small, sorry. Super slim and small at the same time. Um, but I could, you know, I, I like them both. Blade stock is a, not, not robust, but it's a strong spine it's not going to be something fragile you're not going to have to worry about it breaking or anything like that um but it's still thin enough to where you know it, it's a you know can be used as a knife not just a letter opener um the ergos are very slim in the hand you know you can see it's a nice slim knife it's not something that's going to have extremely good ergos but it is comfortable you know i can easily squeeze it you know really hard without any hot spots so there's no hot spots or anything it's just it's slim you know so that's what you're gonna get but just a quick look at these guys like i said i will link everything down in the description for you guys if you guys do want to check it out now caviso has taken over the drop knives so all the knives that used to be sold under drop are now Caviso. And since this is a new design, it does not have none of the drop logos on there. Like we've seen from all the other drop knives, you know, they had the, the drop logos on them. So everything new coming from the factories that are made after, you know, they, they did the deal are not going to have the drop logos on them anymore. So they are going to be uh, more cleaner. And this is one of them. No drop logo or anything like that. Or Caviso logo because now it's Caviso, not drop. So if you are looking for any of those models, you can find all the, the old drop knives and all that on Caviso's site. And I do believe they are planning on bringing out some new models as we move along, which will be awesome. Because I'd love to see more models, you know, brought out by Caviso you know, formerly known as Drop, I would love to see some more of those because I've always liked them. I've always liked the Drop knives. I've always thought that was a really cool thing that they were doing. And yeah, so um, like I said, everything will be linked below. I love you guys. Peace.